I'm currently watching Brian Johnson. I am one hour, seven minutes and 27 seconds into uh, the Brian Johnson podcast with Impact Theory. I don't really like the name too much, but you know, it's a good podcast and I have to admit like, oh, I want to hear Brian Johnson talk more and then like, Brian Johnson he, like, has that tendency to interrupt, which is like similar to me because <laughs> I, like, I, I love talking about what I love, right? I love I'm passionate about it. And like, I showed my mum this and I was like, isn't that so cool to my mum? She's like, why are you watching these bullshit videos? Why are you watching these bullshit videos? You're almost 18 and you achieve nothing with your life. Whereas this guy is here, he's 45, trying to become like 18 again. And he's damn well, very, very fucking close. I think he's, he's already surpassed that, if anything. He has a body similar to a 17 year old. So I think, like I said, measure before, so I think he's part of that. When I first saw Brian Johnson in the news, this guy's a fucking geek. He's weird. The more I get to know about him, the more I actually understand that I misunderstood this man heavily. Like, this guy is a real like a visionary. He's a visionary, and he never really takes like, all the credit for himself. He's humble in that sense. He's like me, me and my team and my children as well, and everyone contributes, etc., etc., etc. I really like that part about him. I just even look at my setup right now, it's funny. I got my laptop, I got my battery, I got my tablet for reading books, I got my monitor it's sideways. Uh, I should connect it up. I'm just gonna strip it aside. Ooh, the studio. It's just my side of my bed. I think I'm gonna sleep this night. I got on my phone for a bit, I admit, and then I procrastinated. But then after that, I just wanted to go to sleep. And I was catching myself going to sleep. I didn't need to use the bathroom a lot. I don't know. It's water. It's water. I don't know. I kept over my head. Not for any particular reason. Like, oh yeah, it removes bad moments. It's just I kept water over my head because it was easy to access. My, my mother is damn old. I should sleep. I can hear her snoring. I don't know if you guys can hear her story. If I stop talking, I think you can. Snoring's not good, by the way, it's actually very bad. I don't snore when I sleep, notably. Mother is completely and utterly right about being 18 and not really achieving anything in my life. It's completely and utterly my fault. It's quite frustrating to know. Like, you don't study, you know, you don't work a job, etc., etc. Like, her idea of success is so limited. And any, like, any time she sees it above, she understands for a bit, or like she doesn't understand enough. And the only way to really to start to navigate this is just to get money and a life worth living. When mom sees that I'm super happy with all my shit together and I have all my bills paid and I have, you know, I'm taking out on holidays and I'm giving her, you know, that life of, yeah, she can just party all the time with her friends, she can actually take care of her health more. She can have a full time effort, effort for her health and she can look better than ever. And, you know, perhaps she can find someone else. So she's, she's lonely forever. Maybe I can get a little brother or something like that. But that means that your mother's gonna pause, okay? I don't wanna think about it. <laughs> I just want her to be happy. So if she is like, that's a huge way off my mind that I can start focusing on my life. <sighs> it's good and bad. I see my mother like, almost a little obstacle. Um, like I'm fighting for her approval. And like it, it is what it is. Like it is true. Asian parents, right? Asian parent, single, on the household. It is what it is. Like what the fuck can I do about that? But it's brutally, brutally correct in what she says. All right, eighteen, actually nothing. And yeah, it's annoying. It's annoying, guys. It's what it's, it's, it has its fair share. I'm sure coming because it's been uh, achieving nothing. I know what I want, but I don't know if I have the strength to get there. And any time I try to do work. Things always get out of the way, and it's usually self-induced. I'm already two days off my deadline for my work. I'm already like today's the 14th, the 11th. I should have finished up three days off my deadline for my book before I go to power. It's a good book, I admit, but it's not like that good to the point where I'm like, oh my god, like it isn't what I should have used it for. I should have like read more 
how to get rich, productivity, sales, tough books, physical tough books will help you more. But after that, I just execute. You know, as I do, I just read in a long way. I I take I take action, and I just do do a job. There's no try, right? But back in the day, I used to fucking I used to like really really hate that saying, and I used to think like, oh, do a job. There's no try. But what if you do something sometimes? And I had some bullshit argument back in the day, but it's completely not to be true. Do or do not, there's no try. If you try, then you're basically not doing it. You're just half arsing. You're not giving your full dedication. And you suffer the result. Oh man. It's crazy to think about. It's crazy to think about. I don't want to be like 18 and achieving nothing. I'm seeing Iman Gaji, he's like 17. Although he's three years with his business, I'm, like, I'm not a year yet into my business. Although he is three years into his business, and he, like, at my age, was only 100k a year. Like, three years for me, that's when I'm 19. When I'm 19, I'm 20. And I'm only 100k, that's amazing. That's amazing, what the fuck am I saying? But when I'm 20, and I'm young enough to say that I have so much things to do in life, but I'm old enough to, you know, not be a kid anymore. Like, you're not a kid anymore at 20. You're a young adult. 16 to 18 is a weird time because you're already not seen as a child anymore, you're seen as a teenager, or young adult. And at that age is where you know, a very weird, sensitive time where you're often confused and you fall into the trap of the education system and that you know, reels all your time and you worry about grades and stuff. Think anyone's excellent. You truly see in life worry about grades, no, 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 no grades. Perhaps self grading, perhaps grading in a different sense, but not in the in terms of traditional education sense, never. Ever. I'm going to be 18 and I'm going to achieve what, in my eyes, close to nothing. I'm very frustrated to think about. I need to be making more money. I need to be getting into better shape. I need to start doing the things I say more than anything else. Doing things I say. I think anyone could, you know, stick by those tenets. And I want to be like a Brian Johnson one day, a Elon Musk one day, tech visionary, entrepreneur, business owner. I like being in the hunt. I like chasing the prospects, dealing with the prospects, dealing with clients. I do like the whole process. I do like, you know, the thing like boxing as well, but. I want to think about the viability, and I'm obviously got to keep training, I want to train as hard as I possibly fucking can. I'm not, I'm not going to fucking fuck, out, fuck about with that type of shit. I do want to become boxer. I want to take a YouTube boxer like I said before. I want to take a professional boxer like I said before. I want to get in the best shape I possibly can. Six pack abs and everything. I want to go through a fucking hell camp and get all that shit. If I want it, it isn't usually good enough. You have to want it badly enough to the point where you think and you genuinely need it. And it isn't to that point yet. And, you know, I was with my mentors about hungry for money thing because my mom just described me as not hungry for money and I agreed with her. Yeah, I'm not hungry for money because if I was, then I'd be working a job or something or working hard on my business. But uh, I have shown half assed effort. So I've got half ass results. Pissing me off, think about it. I hate 3M. I hate 3M motivation. That's my next video. Wait, cut. I cut, bro. Take care of this next video. Would you like me to show you this? Like, like.